hundred. Oh, Dave in Kentucky, poor feller. He done two videos. Well, one, one this weekend, one today. I guess today not. My weekend's over already, man. But he did mention how, other than uh, a couple of folks, kind of the videos are drying up a little bit on the cadre. I didn't want to have to have him carry all the water, so. But he, he, he did kind of figure that people are just kind of blah, and I think that's right. He pointed out that didn't get enough people signing up for bingo to have that. And videos are kind of drying up. What are there some other area of the cadre? There's a little less activity in the normal. I don't know. I, I guess I can see that. People just... It's like you're not getting out and having experiences and things, and so what is there to talk about? And they managed. So here we go. Um, I wish, I wish you guys could smell this, just because it just smells heavenly. This is Pana Crema Nueva Rosa, the red. Here we go. Smells just stunning. I mean, um, the thing, the, the scent I have closest to it, I think, is the uh, Blue de Chanel. But this stuff is oh, just beefier, and it's got that spicy pepper note, but oh, so much more complex and lovely. I don't know how they do it. They make it smell so strongly that... Uh, You'll smell it all day long just using the soap. Uh, but been a been a rough weekend for a couple of the cadre guys. It sounds like Chad. He had the shower put or er, shower the the power shut off at his house uh, yesterday because I guess there was a fire nearby. So I don't know if the fire knocked it out or they turned it off as a precaution, but. Apparently it's a hundred something degrees at his house. And luckily they, they got their RV, so I just hung out in their RV to get the, the air conditioning. And then uh, Dave in Kentucky. Apparently his area of Kentucky gets their water from a goldfish pond or something. And, and uh, normally they scoop it out with buckets, but it's empty because of mining. I don't know. See, you, you accuse me of skim listening, Dave, but I, I heard what's going on with you. So sorry. So the big, the big cliffhanger right now. Is will the power come back on so he can take a shower when he gets home or is his wife going to have to suffer? That's the, that's the dramatic ending we're waiting for. Me, I was on call this weekend, and I guess in the vein of stuff's not working right, my only calls were uh, Sunday morning, the ICU phone's not working right, and then Sunday night, we have uh, internal they're kind of like cell phones, a little beefier. Uh, just just uh, regular phones, not nothing fancy, but internal. So they work everywhere in the hospital. And they weren't working right. So I guess it's just one of those weekends. Uh, good call yesterday, though. We had a nice uh, Zoom call. Uh, the old guys... Sunday Zoom call where there's a little less shenanigans and a little drinking, but not nearly as much. No, no peanut butter, Chad. There's no peanut butter on the old guy's Zoom call. It was nice. Just kind of slower paced and you end up hearing about some stuff and more details on things and you'll get in the forums and all that. So. Kind of nice winding down of the weekend. But, uh, it's 
School is slowly ramping back up. Uh, two girls that are in high school um, have orientation, quote, 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 orientation this weekend, this week. It's sad, my daughter, first year of high school, and her introduction is driving through the parking lot, getting to pull her mask down long enough to have her picture taken from the car. Don't get out. Pop your trunk. And they'll put all your books and laptop and all that stuff in your trunk. And welcome to high school. I'm kind of bummed about that. You you watch my videos and... and, and uh, thoughts on all this. You know I'm careful as anybody, but... They can do something social distance where they're at least saying hi and have the teachers there. And even if it's through masks. Because uh, all, all, all these kids in transition are the ones that missed out on their graduations and then are kind of missing out on the, the transition. But man, I was just thinking it's gone on a lot longer than anybody thought it would when it all started. I just, I did my my self haircut again, and I think this might be number four, it's at least number three of my self haircut. And I remember the first time I did it, I was thinking, here I am, I got the clippers, doing my haircut, and they're going to open up in like a week or two. I could have just waited, but I might as well. I bought the clippers, so I felt like I needed to use them. But here we are. It's cut number four. And it's a bummer because I, I could do it just fine on somebody else. I know the mechanics of it, but doing it on your own and really not being able to see. This is a weird transition. And he don't care. Anyway, I thought I would just throw on the video because things just kind of seem to flow anyway. Even last night we had a some of the regulars were not on there. Got to see John the monkey. Haven't seen him for a while. That was cool, but. Doug wasn't on, KJ, Dawn, Fluffy, it's been a while, because he's been busy, I guess that's good, it's better than home being bored. I'm trying to think of what's new, and that's part of the problem, is that anything that's new that we get excited about is just so minimal. I think I ordered some new coffee this weekend. It was a, oh yeah, I guess I'll just talk about anything. We're almost done anyway. Uh, silly Cadre guys got me into coffee roasting and kind of taking a break from that. I don't know if my roaster is broken or, you know, it just doesn't get hot enough. There's no way to really test that or know that, but it, it takes way too long to roast coffee. You have to do it in small batches, the one I have. Uh, man, Bruce, Bruce on the cadre, he, he was on the Zoom call. He just got a new sweet roaster that's a, a drum roaster. No pound at a time. Nice. I just told him it takes me about two hours to do a pound because I have to do such small batches and each batch seems to take, I don't know, when it's not windy and it's warm outside, maybe 18 minutes. It doesn't seem like it should take that long. And everything's hit and miss anyway, so I just decided to 
order some coffee. I wasn't sure what to get. And that's all hit and miss too, but uh, just as I was thinking, need to find some coffee and post it on the cadre. What are your suggestions for some nice, mellow, smooth coffee? Get an email from a coffee company uh, from the Bay Area that uh, does the coffee roasts. Uh, also for some nice restaurants, some three-star uh, Michelin restaurants. So we got uh, the coffee that they serve at uh, Italia Crin, uh, which is a three-star Michelin restaurant in the city. And then uh, we got the coffee that they serve at Bouchon, which, not to get too snotty or whatever, but a lot of people have heard of French Laundry. That's a three-star Michelin restaurant where the guy that owned the chef, Thomas Keller from French... Oh, I'm just cleaning this out. Oh, man, that is just heavenly. I kind of want to smear more on my figure. You need some in the beard. You know what's awesome is you get have some soap tent left in your beard and you put your, your mask on, you can smell it. Nice little surprise. Anyway, so got French laundry in Yauntville up near Napa. He also has Bouchon, which is a smaller, I think it, I think that was one star Michelin. Um, it's still very nice, good food, but not, you know, impossible to get in and as expensive. And then right next to it is Bouchon Bakery, which, uh, you know, in normal times, we'll have a line outside of it. It's not a huge, huge line, but it's a very, very small place. You just kind of walk along the counter and tell them what you want on your way through. And, but anyway, we obviously can get beautiful baked goods. Anyway, Bouchon, we got the coffee that they serve there. That's the other one. Man, we would uh, we went to brunch there a few times. Yeah, quite the way to start a uh, day up in Napa and get reservations for when they first open. And they have that, uh, what is it, Cro Croquette Madame sandwich that's like a, I'm trying to, <coughs> excuse me, gotta get the Thayer's Lemon in me. <coughs> uh, hoping that I remember this right, but it's kind of like a, fried sandwich like a Monte Cristo but it's got to be different somehow but it's like ham and cheese and then I think dipped in egg and fried or maybe the bread is just fried like that but anyway and it comes with fries that are those nice thin crispy ones uh, cooked in uh, duck fat oh the fries just just going for the fries awesome what am I doing I did alum we did witch hazel I haven't done a video for so long. There's the the other parts of the morning routine you skip when you're on camera. So I need to do my uh, Nivea 2 when uh, Barbara Dave asked me, how's my how's my dolphin going? Yeah, he's he's swimming right along. Look at him, right on top there. <laughs> he's still on top. I usually it's funny. Um, I guess I was gonna say I want I want him to be safe, but. I think because I just don't want to, I'm afraid I'm going to break them up if I keep doing that. So I've been shaking kind of more gentle like this. Barbara, he's got, Barbara Dave has a little diver dude that he says actually hangs out there between the clear and the blue. Uh, he used to float, but I think hanging out there in the middle is much cooler. It's actually diving. But I hear rumor that when I get my next order, um, 3D printed <clears throat> items from Kyle that I might be getting one of those, which would be cool. But then I figure I'll have to open a second bottle so that, uh, look at that. you can see the gradation. It's starting to separate already. It's getting lighter on the bottom. I wonder how long that takes. Right, we'll do a YouTube video of this, just watching this separate. Anyway. So that's I guess we're we're drawn to an end here. I've I've been sticking on a talc. Um actually this Parasso talc, it's um 
rosemary and mint, I believe. I think it's rosemary though. This has been my go-to, um, but I like them all. This one, this one too, this is a equity, but look at the size of that tin, that's huge. Good stuff. Um, I'm keeping up, uh, still new scotches. We tried um, Lagavu, uh, no, the Freud Triple Cast, Triple Wood, the Freud Triple Wood last night. Uh, that's good stuff. Um, Lafroy, you, you heard about Lafroy. That's a punch in the face. This tones it down. It does, it does tone down the smoke and it's much easier to drink, much smoother. Almost all the flavors, but just kind of like hushed a little bit. I think I'll be buying this one instead of uh, Lafroy 10 from now on. And then Smoky Joe. Um, just heard about that last week or so. That's an interesting one. I can't wait to have a little bit more of that. Smoky Joe smells like butterscotch. And then um, it's a mix of uh, Isla scotches. So um, you'd think it would be a big smoke bomb, but it's not. And on the taste, you get buttered popcorn with a little smoke at the end. Very interesting. So anyway, those are the big exciting things happening here during uh, COVID. Uh, how's my hair? Looking all right. All right, there you go, Dave. Uh, hope your water comes back on so we don't have to suffer any longer. And I'll see you on the forums.